Welcome back to another NBA video where I'm going to be going over the best of Wednesday's action. The Golden State Warriors were playing their first game since the tragic passing of their assistant coach, and they honored Decky by getting the win. The players and coaches, they were emotional and understandably so, and after the game, they honored him. They had shirts, jersey patches, a lot of stuff to honor Decky for a long time coming. Anthony Edwards scored 38 points as the Timberwolves are going to beat the Wizards in this one. Cat had 27 after he had 62 the game before. Terry Rozier made his Heat debut. He played just under 30 minutes, got 9 points, but they lost as 10 to 11 point favorites against the Grizzlies team that has a majority of their starters injured. Jeremy Grant hits a shot to take things to OT and the Trailblazers an impressive effort for them. They win on the second night of a back-to-back -back in Houston. Anthony Simons had 33 points. This is the Milwaukee Bucks team before the game one day after Adrian Griffin got fired. Interpret this how you want, but Doc Rivers is on the way. For now, they have an interim coach, but they would be able to beat the Cleveland Cavaliers and snap their eight-game win streak. So the Cavs' win streak is finally snapped, and now the longest win streak in the NBA is Devin Booker and the Phoenix Suns as they extend it to seven. They were down a sizable amount, but then they won by a sizable amount. And with how Kevin Durant's been playing, Devin Booker had 46 tonight. Bradley Beal can contribute. The Suns are showing the last couple weeks what they were imagining when they put together this roster led by the superstars in Devin Booker and Kevin Durant and that Devin Booker Luka Doncic rivalry is real so this one was definitely personal for Booker he had 46 in the win speaking of budding rivalries Victor Wembanyama and Chet Holmgren this one got intense even though the Thunder won by 30 Victor Wembanyama he was staring Chet down after he lowers the shoulder and gets a dunk on him and Chet he was going back and forth with Wemby as yell as well it's probably going to end up being a good thing that Chet didn't have his rookie year until this year because these two are going to match up so well for years to come. You can see Chet runs into Wemby. The game's out of hand already. It's a 25-point game, but Wemby's clapping in his face. Wemby had 24-12 with four blocks. Chet had 17-9, but as I said, the Thunder, they won by a lot. But they're taking it personal in their individual matchups. And even though Chet's team won by a lot, Wemby's odds to become Rookie of the Year got even greater as he's now a minus 180. There's been a lot of reversals in this race, just a testament to how good they've been playing. And if you want to see more, this video on Twitter from Worldwide Wob really details them going at each other in the fourth quarter alone. It's a rivalry that's going to get heated and be so fun for many years to come. The last part of this video, I'm going to be talking about the player pool of 41 that has to be narrowed down to 12 for the Team USA team this summer. And one of those 41 was not Draymond Green. And Team USA Managing Director Grant Williams confirmed that his suspension is what cost him the Olympic spot. So it's results in him getting kicked out of this year's Olympic. Olympics. We'll see if he has an opportunity again, but that's the best of today's slate. Subscribe if you like these videos.